Today we're ready to start a new project. We'll rather finish an old project mm -hmm. that we started last... Last year. Yeah. Basically we're working outside trying to tear off the rest of the old siding and replace it with new sheathing and put in some new windows. All right, so we had some nice weather and we had all the materials we needed. We have the new windows, we have the sheathing, the OSB sheathing. So we thought we might as well start working on this project. So we went outside and just started uh, taking out the windows, first of all. Uh, so the windows came out pretty easily, just had to pull the trim off and pry all the nails out of the flange and pop them out. Then we started pulling off the siding. And then under that, there's the shiny thermal ply. It's like a thick cereal box material. Yeah. And luckily all that's not too hard to pull off. Uh, just stapled on. The problem is it leaves a lot of staples behind after you pull it off. Yeah. So, uh, using Ashley's technique, we got the reciprocating saw and just cut off the staples. Yeah. We so much faster and easier than using a hammer and hammering them in or trying to pry them out. Yeah. In the past I've tried hammering them and it, it's a pain. Yeah. Those walls were already redone on the inside of the house and the insulation and stuff is mostly fine. Everything was good. We had to add some extra nailers at the top of our wall. So we got this section of the wall pulled off. Everything is looking good. There was a little bit of dampness in the wall but nothing rotted. It's just some condensation from around the window. We cleaned off the staples and now I got to put in some pieces of wood. I just need some extra nailers at the top and we'll be able to get some sheathing back on the wall. We got half of the wall done. It's totally prepped, ready to go for sheathing. I uh, got my nailers in, it's all clean. But we're gonna go ahead and work on this other half right now. Get it all cleaned off and then we'll put up all the sheathing all at once. So, another window, another mess.
Good roll. You know, I would never screw sheathing up again. I've done that previously. I've done that in other homes. And we find that screws tend to snap very easily. They screw in fine and you feel like they're really strong, but if you come back to them in a year, the slightest move and you'll find that a lot of them snap or they're already broken. They don't expand and contract as well as nails do. Mm -hmm. So they just can break very easily and I don't like that. So we're really, uh, we used to be of the mindset that screws are better. We use screws for everything. But really, nails are way better in some things. Yeah. All right, we're making progress. We got three sheets up. I'm gonna start at this end now because it's gonna line up better with the sheet spacing on the studs. And we're gonna start going that way, meet in the middle. It's a little wobbly, I know. <laughs> a little? <laughs> it looks horrible. <laughs> We're slowly getting there on this project. Finally, all the sheathing is done. The house wrap is up. That's a good feeling. All we're worried about tonight is getting Belle's bedroom window in. The bathroom window, we just left the plywood up, the OSB. Uh, and that can sit overnight. That'll be fine. We don't need light in there right now. Goal tonight, getting that window in. We need Belle's window finished. This uh, trailer, car, work platform is actually making everything a lot easier. I'm glad we thought of that instead of moving the ladder all around. I'm gonna cut the wrap for the window now. This is where people get a little bit upset with me because I don't do the X cut. So I just flush cut it like that. I'm gonna link you guys a video at the end of this video, maybe in the description of how to properly cut house wrap for a window opening. Um, a lot of people go by the old way of doing it and they wrap it into the window. A number of manufacturers have stepped away from that. The best thing I can say is Watch that video to understand why we do it this way, but also just read the window manufacturer's instructions because that's always gonna be the best way to do it for their windows. We have Jeldwin windows, and this is how Jeldwin wants it done because it's a better way to wrap a window. Is it in? Yeah. Wait, go down. You're on the, you're on the, uh, same over. Okay. Okay, it needs to move this way. Then you like some stuff and then you put it in the back of all the pots and then you can line it up here. Well, there it is. We got our goals accomplished for today. It was slow. It took a long time to get it all done, but we did get a lot done, so I'm happy. And we at least accomplished what we wanted to, and that was getting Belle's window in. She finally has a clean, clear window to look outside. The room will be 
a little more sealed up, a little more fresh. And it feels good to finally get that job done. Maybe tomorrow or the next day. We'll work on that bathroom window, get that cut out, put in. As you saw, it shouldn't take too long now that all the hard work is done. Now again, I'm gonna post a link at the end of this video on our end screen uh, to the video I did talking about cutting house wrap for windows. It's really important. I see a lot of people still cutting the house wrap wrong. You'll see that in most code jurisdictions, the code is to follow the instructions of the manufacturer, the window manufacturer. And most window manufacturers are actually moving over to the flush cut system. They don't want that house wrap wrapping inside your walls anymore. Something we did different on Bell's window than we did on some of the other windows was we taped the the bottom and the sides. Yeah. Before. before. Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say before on the other windows we were just taping the bottom and not the sides. Yeah. Uh, we felt it was better to tape the house wrap uh, on the sides, tape the bottom sill really well, and then caulk it, put the window in, and then we're going to tape over the sides again. You don't tape over the bottom. We just felt that it was going to give a better seal around the window and help protect the wood if there was any condensation or anything. And something that we've noticed over the winter without trim on our windows is that around the windows can get damp from condensation. So we thought that extra barrier might be helpful for the long run. Yeah, so that was it. Got Bell's window in just in time and it looks so nice. You can just look out the window and it's so clear and bright and early. Yeah, those old windows were nasty. Like there was so much water and filth between the glass panes. And you like couldn't see out. Yeah, the seals were all bad on them. It was horrible. So, window installed. The bathroom window didn't get done, but we're going to try to do that maybe today, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. The, we never cut that one out, so it's just solid wood right now. So that was the project in a nutshell. Pretty smooth, getting work done, making big progress. Now, we're down to just the end of the house. It's about 23 feet. What was it? 24 feet? How wide is Probably it? Probably around that. Tw like maybe 25 feet left of house, of wall to take off. That's the last of the old siding. Which will be easy. There's no protrusions, no windows, nothing. Nothing. Just solid wall. That's going to be so easy, actually. So we'll be doing that soon. But we thought we'd end this project here because we got a lot done. And we just wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll have another one coming soon. We're getting a lot of work done. I was trying to install the sink just today. I know you guys are waiting for that. So yeah, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye.